Hello everyone, this is Snail Wolf. Um, yeah, I'm going to talk about these two books because many times I get the question, hey Snail Wolf, how exactly do you make these cameras? You design them by yourself or uh, just look at a picture and start building? Well, no, there's a lot of research uh, going on before I really start building them. But I also, of course, use some books because internet will only get you so far. And if you really are planning on building a camera, you better get as much information as you can because it's not an easy task, especially when woodworking is involved. You don't necessarily need woodworking. I will get to that in a second, but it's always very handy. Now, the books that I used for my cameras, this camera, it's a very old one that looks similar to this one. Of course, this one looks prettier. Then another camera that I used to build this, that's this one. I have some videos in the description. You can look at them if you want to build a similar camera. That's not an issue. But now, talking about these two books. First book that I will talk about is the Making the Sliding Box Camera by Ty Gilroy. And uh, the other book is Primitive Phot Photography, A Guide to Making Cameras, Lenses and Calotypes by Alan Green. So these books, I bought them on Amazon. And I have to tell you, they're not cheap. I think... One of them is 60 or 70 euros, and uh, some countries even more than that. So not cheap, but they were very helpful. This book by uh, Ty Gilroy is mainly about how to um, do the woodworking part of the camera. So the, the box, so to say. So not the lens, lens board, all these things. It's mainly the, the, the box itself. This book goes a little bit further. It really gives you some information about the different types of... Of cameras you can build also how to build them into relatively a lot of detail they, they will give you here so let's have a look at the contents so it says lens selection but it's only one page so it's nothing wood supplies also just woods not interesting Boxes, that's interesting. Ground glass and plate holder. Those two things, those are the main things that he uh, talks about uh, in the book. So, interesting if you want to build this kind of camera. But if you want to have a book with a lot more information, then I think you're better off with this one. Because if you look at this contents, the book is also a bit thicker. A lot more pages. Uh, where is it? Just had it. Ah, here. So it describes how to make the film holder, the camera body. So that's the same as this book. But also the lens selection is 50 pages. So you really get a lot of information about the lens. Also about paper negatives, the chemicals, the materials needed. Wet paper process, wax paper process, salt prints. So really, this book goes into a lot of detail. This is very professionally made, the camera. Looks super nice. This camera looks a little bit less interesting, but they, they both work just fine. Eh? So you can see here. So I will show you. But here you really can see how to glue things together. How to cut things it gives some measurements but not really very detailed so you need to eyeball it or use your own measurements so there are some pictures there it's not really super detailed although there are a lot of pictures in here but it's mainly really how to build the box and that, that's super because you will achieve end result like this but of course that, that's not everything and eh? there are a lot there's a lot more to it to building a camera than just a box and this is also a very old-fashioned way now for primitive photography I also will show you how to build a box I mean I call it a box but yeah it's the camera where is it uh, here it is yeah so uh, they will tell you how to build this camera this one is, is less traditional. I mean, the, the form is a bit similar. It's also a box camera, sliding box camera. So that, that's uh, similar. Eh? 
And there are some measurements. Also, yeah, you got some measurements here and there, but not super detailed. Again, you need to know a thing or two about woodworking, otherwise you will fail. But this, this, these books are really, really, really helpful. But this book is also mainly very helpful because it also details how you make your lenses or better yet how to set a lens in a lens board and um, also develop some pictures and to make paper negatives for instance here see paper negatives how to do that then also gives you a very good some very good information about lens aberrations and how to set the lens how to use different lens um, elements actually to make a yeah, camera lens you can make it out of cardboard the the lens so the how to say the cylinder where you put in the lenses front and back or you, I use plastic wait one moment I made a lot of lenses using uh, yeah actually just uh, tubing for uh, what is that plumbing plumbing tubing it's just PVC as you can see there's already a little uh, ledge here or a little inside uh, stop so you can put the lens inside and then uh, yeah you can lock it in with another ring so then you actually already have a, a lens mount so it's really easy actually this book this book details that like wait one moment i'll show you okay these things these things are all prototypes <laughs> they're not super but look uh, I use the, the PVC pipe, I just cut a hole in the board and I set it into the board like here with some glue. Inside is a, a filter of some sorts. Wait, uh, maybe I can get it out. hope I can get it out. No, it doesn't want to come out. But it's a filter, something like this. You can add it on top of your, uh, yeah, it's actually a sort of close up uh, lens thingy that you can add on the front of your real lens to add a few, uh, yeah, to add a, a degree of uh, magnification. If you buy the right one, you can really, you actually have a sort of magnifying glass and you can just pop it in. If you have the right PVC piping, and just pop it in. Don't know really the, the correct term for this kind of thing. Uh, alternatively, you can also use a magnifying glass. Just break it and put it in. Works just fine. That's like this one. Okay, this one was just to play around from a few years ago, and I just starting to start to build a camera. You see, I didn't even take this off. It's just a magnifying glass. Uh, I set it in a cardboard cylinder and also glued it in into a board. That's also what this book will uh, tell you, how not only to make lens, how to make lens, but also how to set the lens. You can see it here. Uh. The, here also lens board, how to cut the lens board, how to set it. It's, it's really interesting. Yeah, this book has really a lot of details and information. So these books will also give you a good idea on how to build your own uh, film holders. So this, this, this one is one that I designed by myself, but it's loosely based on the information you can find on the internet and uh, in these books. But it will, yeah, really work quite well. You can make it as easy or as complex as you want. You can even Make one with a double layer so you can actually slide in a piece of uh, photo paper or film into this one, uh, into the film holder. And then the top layer you can use to close the film holder just like a, a real one. Like this. The Fidelity. This is 8 by 10 So here has a little piece here. On both sides to clamp or to hold the film or the paper that you're going to use 
of course this one has got a light trap at the top these two books also talk about that on how to do it it's, it's not that easy i didn't use a light trap here i just used some velcro i don't know if you can see it right there some simple velcro it does the trick quite well but if you use this kind of system it's best to keep the the dark slide in so you don't pull it out completely when you take the picture and that's actually a, a system or a way of taking pictures that they also used in 19th century so it's not new so they also use that system by not pulling it out completely in 19th century but it had a trick to it if you look at this one this is the original one i think this one's from 1900 or a bit before that so you pull out the dark slide and look what happens i don't know if you can see it you can bend it here don't pull out completely you bend it so then the wind won't catch it and you won't you, your camera won't wiggle around because that happens sometimes to mine if there's very windy day with my own film holders that i just showed you and i don't pull out dark slide completely yeah then sometimes the wind catches it very annoying but here you don't have the issue look that's an invention end of 19th century i think it works quite fine and also will seal here at the top so the film holder i just showed you is from a new camera that i just bought but uh yeah I'll show you that camera in a bit. So if you want to build a simple pinhole camera, these kind of books will help because you can use pinhole camera with dark slides and light traps. Or you can just go for the bigger type of camera. My table is a little bit too small. Don't know if you can see it. Uh, this this I need to recut and I need to redo a lot of things but uh, I think you guys get the idea here's the back yeah the book also helped uh, to build some uh, other type of cameras like this uh, cyanotype camera Ooh, the lighting isn't really that great here yeah, this is a cyanotype camera. Very special camera here. With uh, with two rails with magnets, so you can slide it to the front and to the back. That of course is my own system that I devised. But the principle is always the same. Uh if you want to build a camera, you need a lens, box, and some kind of system. Uh, to keep the film uh, <clears throat> yeah some kind of system to keep the film here at the back to hold the film so yeah I would say just go ahead give it a try use cardboard use uh, wood use metal use whatever you can find or just use a box whatever kind of box it is put a lens in it or make a lens buy a lens a break of binoculars use the lens of binoculars or uh, even a magnifying glass whatever you have laying around and just play around and make a camera because really it can't be simpler i mean let me show you the most simple camera i have this is a camera obscura box it's like it says it's to play an experiment and to uh experience from 10 years old so yeah it's for kids but it doesn't matter these kind of things are fun look it has a lens at the front it's just a box at the back of course there is a hole to look through because it's camera obscura so the the goal is that the image that will come uh, the i mean the subject that you're focusing focusing on with the lens eh, will appear here at the back on an opaque uh, surface it's a lot of fun i really 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 recommend uh, giving it a try and uh, building your uh, own camera you can use lenses from uh, binoculars dia projector or magnifying glass 
those three are very cheap and easy to begin with so yeah just go for it the other thing i want to mention is these books they're about sliding box cameras so they they won't talk about they won't talk about bellows so these kind of things you won't find in this book but uh, I will make a, another video on how exactly you can fold your own bellows. Not difficult, just it's very tedious and takes a lot of your time. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. Bye bye. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm not sponsored by uh, these people. Huh? I just found their, their books on the internet and I found them very useful. So I thought I would give that information to you guys. Bye bye.